Hello, my friends from Long Nation, and welcome back. We have the name of the two teams that made it to the final of the Euro Cup France 2016. On one hand, we have Portugal, who beat West, and on the other side, we have France, who beat Germany. So let's talk a little bit about each of the games. On Wednesday, we saw Portugal against Wales. In the first half, it was the game was a little bit slow. There was no many chances. Both teams were trying to use the wings, the speed from Bale and Cristiano Ronaldo and Nani, but they couldn't use any goal chances to score. Then in the second half, like Cristiano Ronaldo had these five minutes of glorious moment, these five glorious minutes, and he scored the first goal, a beautiful header by, with a, uh, after a corner kick, and then he gave the assist three minutes later to Nani to score the second goal. Wales was trying, Bale was trying, but he was exhausted. He, we saw that they were missing Ramsey a lot in the midfield, but, well, Cristiano Ronaldo won the war against Wales, so they made it to the final. I have to say that the, the first games, Portugal played pretty bad, but I think this is the first time that they deserved the win. So congratulations to Portugal for making it to the final. And now they're gonna face France, who beat Germany on Thursday. Uh, France used a strategy to, to use the counter-attacks. They were pretty defensive. All the players were, were on the French side all the time and they were using the speed and the physique of the players like Sissoko, like Payet and the speed from Griezmann. And they surprised uh, Germany in the two mistakes that the Germans had. Uh, bad mistake from Schweinsteiger in the first penalty. So Griezmann used that moment to score and then another mistake from Mustafi in the defense. And also Griezmann pushed the ball inside the net, so France won 2-0. I have to say that it, it wasn't the day from Germany. I think Germany played pretty well, they were trying all the time. It was hard to get inside the area from France. And when they did, when they did surpass the defense, there was your risk to stop everything. They tried all the time, but it wasn't the day for Germany. So the host made it to the final. Also very happy for Griezmann because he scored two goals. And right now he's the top scorer with six. And I think he will be the top scorer from the Euro Cup. I don't think Cristiano Ronaldo will, will score three goals in the final, honestly. And yes, also talk about Samuel Umtiti, the new player from uh, Barcelona. I think he was, pretty, he was pretty confident in the area. He was pretty serious and relaxed. He stopped every, every moment that Germany was trying to score. He was there, serious, no goals for France. So I think Umtiti did a great job and if he does the same thing in Barcelona and if fits, he has a connection with Piqué or Mascherano, we will have a good center back for a few, for a few years, hopefully. hopefully. So yes, the final is gonna be on Sunday, France against uh, Portugal. They both are playing like the same way, using the counter attacks because they have speed players, but with the midfielders that France have, they have Pogba, Matuidi, Sissoko, Kanté. I think they will have the position of the ball, they will try a little bit more and try to get the ball to Griezmann and, and Giroud, because I think they will play in the, in the front. And then I think Portugal will wait a little bit more to get the ball and when they get it, throw it uh, to the front to try it and reach uh, Cristiano Ronaldo or Nani. It will be a, an interesting game on Sunday at 9 p.m. if you are in, in Spain, Europe, if you are in England at 8 p.m. If you are in America, east side is going to be at 3 p.m. and if you are in the west side, it's going to be at noon. So don't miss that game, it's the final from the Euro Cup France 2016. France already won one a few years ago when it was another Euro Cup in France. And Portugal has never won. The last final that they played was against Greece and Greece won. So, and if you are not subscribed yet to our No Nation channel, just click the spotlight right here below and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. And as I always say, and you know it, I love you all.